I just wasted like 26 minutes of my time watching today's show. Guys, it was very, very boring. I'm not gonna lie. Boring. But you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. So guys, even though today's episode was actually boring, mm -hmm, a lot of things, a lot of tea was spilled. So I'm going to be sharing all of it with you guys. So you need to watch till the end of this video to get all the juicy details as usual. And guys, don't forget tomorrow... Oh, tomorrow is Friday. Okay. Okay. Saturday is my Saturday YouTube live. It happens 3 p.m. West African time. So don't miss out. Let's make it a date. So guys, um, today's theme on the show was all about the friend zoning who had the most drama, you know, regarding friend zoning stuff. And fraud, Benita, and the martial last clips were played in the house. Guys, if you watched the show, you recall that Fred, uh, Fraud, Venita, and Omashola, their wahala was just so funny. It was like Tom and Jerry fighting for that fine, sexy cat. You know, if you watch the cartoon, it was just really funny, you know. So, Ebuka asked Elo, you know, if he noticed all that was going on, you know, amongst those three people. And Elo said he actually noticed it all. That prior from when um, he and Venita got into the house, Omashola was instantly smitten by Venita's beauty, by her looks and all of that. And guys, if you remember us at that time, it seemed like everybody in the house was a couple everybody in the house was a pair and the martial art was the only person who was sort of single fraud and esther were still having their back and forth back and forth um fraud was still giving esther space you know to weigh her options if to come to him or not because nelson had been evicted at that time you know so guys when um venita came into the house or martial art was doing worry worry up and down especially as venita was also doing worry worry up and down so in his head he had found his soulmate right so, um, Ibuka also asked Diane, um, and she said she noticed all that Venita was doing. And, um, the reason why people actually had a wrong perception about Venita, you know, was what the things she said to the guys when she came into the house. Now, guys, let's remember, cast your minds back. When Venita came into the house newly in week five with Elo Zonam, guys, and also I think NK, Venita went straight to EK and said something. I can't really remember. She also went to get Doni. So for me, oh, I feel like that meant that she had stayed outside the house. She had probably watched the show. So she probably knew who and who were a couple inside the house. And she came with a mission to come and destroy all couples' relationships in the house. Say it to the Pope or whatever. This is my frank opinion. This is what happened on the show. And this is what I'm telling you guys that happened. And also, guys, Joe was another person that had... A motive for coming into the house Joe's motive and target was Tatcha and he said it that he came into the house to provoke Tatcha guys so I think the only people that said they didn't really watch the show and did not really know what to do or didn't have any kind of strategy was NK and Cindy but Venita and Joe they sure had a motive to continue guys um Ibuka asked on Mashala you know his own version of the whole thingy and on Mashala said when Vanita came into the house, he was very, very excited, you know, because um, he initially liked Kimopra, but he noticed that Kimopra was with Jeff in the house. And then he also indicated interest in liking Jackie. But Jackie was always raving about her relationship and her AI thingy, you know. So Omashla was very, very lonely in the house. He liked Kathy, but Kathy was Bigedoni. So... For him, when he goes into the diary room, he was always requesting, Biggie, 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 when are we going to have more girls in the house? You know, man is always sleeping alone in the cold. And when Venita came into the house, Omashla felt like, oh my God, Biggie has answered my prayers, you know. But then, he went straight to fraud and told fraud that guy, you know you have your thing with Esther and whoever, you know. So, this babe that came into this house, I beg, leave her for me. And not only me, I unite the single men inside the house, you know. And fraud agreed. Fraud said, okay, you know. So, so according to our mashola, he was very very upset when he had gone to cook yam i think boiled yam or fried yam he had gone to cook yam for um venita and before he knew it you know venita had i think something happened she got upset left their room and had gone to meet fraud you know and fraud already cooked noodles for venita so guys let me not lie to you that day i was so upset i got so upset with fraud i'm like god what is your problem now i see the reason why esther is running away from you like guys i felt like fraud deliberately did what he did to a martial art. like seriously that's what they call breaking the bro code fraud completely broke the bro code with Omashala. honestly and Omashala didn't find it funny at all so um Omashala said that to get back at fraud 
um, they had a task in the house, a presentation to, to present a play, and that was when he, um, he told um, his team members that at the end of a play, he wanted to kiss Esther. You know, so he, there was no reason for him to kiss Esther, but he wanted to kiss Esther. According to him, he wanted to get back at fraud because at that time, Venita no longer had his interest anymore. Venita was now always staying with fraud, and at that point in time, fraud was H O H in the house. So Venita was literally going into the H O H room to chill with fraud like guys the switch was from zero to hundred how much love was pissed in the house at that time he felt betrayed and all of that so um they acted their play and at the end of the play on martial kissed Esther, according to Omashula, the kiss long where way deeper, Esther was even kissing him back, you know, it was that deep. So according to him, when he saw fraud's facial expression, he was satisfied that he had got him back at fraud, you know. So, um, Ebuka asked fraud, you know, what was, what he felt like, you know, and fraud said that according to his own thinking, you know, when he saw Venita coming into his room, he felt like he had seen an angel. Venita is the perfect woman that he wants. Venita suits all the description and all the specs of the perfect woman that he wants. You know, that um, whatever conversation he had with Thomas Lad, he did not agree to anything. And guys, let me not lie to you. That was a lie because fraud literally agreed. Fraud literally agreed. So for me, I feel like fraud was just playing his game. He was just, which is allowed anyways, but I feel like... He was playing his game mm -hmm. so um fraud said that he didn't feel like he broke any bro code because he felt like he and venita they've had conversations and both of them had a lot in common and i think both of them were actually born on the same day i think first of october first of october they are capricorns yeah i don't know their birthday guys so ignore what i said scratch that you know but venita um fraud said that both of them they had a lot of things in common you know they thought i like a lot and um Ebuka asked fraud that do you think Esther came back to you because she felt threatened by Venita and fraud said that this Esther's conversation that it has been overdragged you know that he said that after Nelson was evicted from the house he felt sorry for Esther because Esther was always alone at that time Esther did not really have her friends anymore like Esther, uh, Mercy and Diane yeah and I think Thelma had been evicted I can't remember if Thelma had been evicted but um, Esther was literally alone in the house you know so Fraud said he felt sorry for Esther and that was why um, he allowed Esther to come back but guys cast your minds back remember during that time I feel like Esther too was playing her own game. She was playing her own strategy. She needed a relationship in the house to remain like a power couple, to be strong in the house. But then, Nelson was evicted and she felt alone. And then, who else was available, you know, to become a partner in crime other than fraud, who clearly had been indicating interest in her in the house. So guys, when Vanita came, she realized that, oh my God, Vanita is like beautiful she's vivacious she's very very vocal she's very very energetic you know and then she realized that fraud was also smitten by venita's personality and beauty and so what did Esther do immediately she called fraud back that they should have a conversation guys if you watched that particular day you would laugh because immediately and fraud now who has always been liking esther immediately esther called for a meeting he completely abandoned Venita and focused on Esther. And that was how he and Esther became an item in the house. Although Fraud's affections for Venita was not, I'm sorry, for Esther was not reciprocated because Esther kept on using him in the house like, oh, hey, I want to iron my clothes, Fraud will iron. I want to wash clothes, Fraud will wash. I want to eat, Fraud will cook. So it was literally both of them. Like they were all just using each other in the house, guys. Let me not just kid you. Like they were all using each other in the house. And even when Fraud was saying what he was saying, Esther did not say anything. Like she just kept quiet because Babe actually knew that Fraud was not lying about it. So Ebuka asked Venita to explain the scenario to them since everybody was talking and talking and talking. And Venita said that for how she couldn't validate Omashala's feelings because Omashala did not make his intentions known. Omashala was literally making it known to everybody in the house that Venita is his girlfriend, Venita is his worried person, Venita na in oh no, na in wife, who nobody should come close. But Venita said that Omashala did not come straight to her, you know, to say anything. So therefore, she liked Omashala, you know, and she felt like like Omar liked her physically, but they never really had a conversation at a very deep level, like what she has been having 
with fraud you know so according to venita she liked fraud and i told fraud that she had a relationship outside the house you know but it was at that point that fraud disputed by saying that no you did not say you had a new relationship outside you said you had a situation and she said oh yes that there was this new situation she had outside the house before coming into the house and she already told fraud about it expecting that fraud would understand you know and she said that oh Ebuka asked that does she feel like um, both of them would have been a force to reckon with because fraud actually said that they would have been a power couple in the house and Venita said yes because both of them they have strong personalities so both of them would have been a force to reckon with you know and um, fraud said that um, the relationship that his relationship would with Venita would have been better because Ebuka asked him you know which relationship he would have preferred with Venita or with Esther and fraud said that his relationship with Benita would have been way 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 better and stronger yeah and then Ebuka asked if um asked Benita if she felt like the way she played her game with those guys in the in the house as at that time actually affected her game you know and her relationship with the other housemates in the house and also caused her to be evicted and she said no because she felt like someone like Omashola had a very very strong game had a very very strong strategy ongoing fraud likewise Esther likewise you know so she didn't feel like the way she played her game in the house affected how she was perceived by the housemates and viewers and she also said that a situation with fraud also cost her a situation ship outside the house according to her she had always wanted fraud you know to clarify and clear the air that there was nothing actually going on between both of them inside the house but fraud did not do that so she was actually pressing on fraud tonight on tonight's show that fraud should actually clear the air that there was nothing going on between them inside the house and so guys that was when Kim Oprah's diary session was placed to us to see when Piki was asking her if she knew if anybody had any interest um for um in her inside the house and she said she had a feeling that Jeff and Don Marshall had a thing for her so guys a lot of other clips were played um Kim Oprah talking um with um Jeff in the HOH room Jeff telling her he liked her and all of that so Ebuka asked Jeff, you know, what was the deal with Kimopra? And Jeff said that from the conversations he had with Kimopra, it was a mind kind of likeness that he had with Kimopra. So it wasn't like a physical sort of attraction. And then he also said that Kimopra was actually fond of him, but he noticed that Kimopra actually liked Omashola. That Kimopra had even told him before that, oh, I like Omashola's chest. And then he knew at that point that Kimopra didn't actually like him. And then Ebuka asked Kimopra to give her own version of the situation ship. And Kimopra said that for her, it wasn't like there was anything going on between her and Jeff. That they only had conversations. And the only conversation she had ever had with Jeff was, um, what did you study in school? What kind of books have you read? Because Jeff always said that he had read books on psychology. So she was just making inquiries about those things. So it wasn't like there was any sort of like like likeness kind of situation going on between both of them and then she also said that she went with jeff to the hh room because come on there were 21 housemates in the house everybody was sharing the same bathroom and toilet and she knew that the hh room had a sort of luxury so all she needed to do was to tell jeff in advance that when you win the hh room i want to be in that room with you so that i could have privacy of bathroom and toilet and all of that so she said she went into guys hey, i'm seeing one mosquito so she said she went into the HOH room, you know, for that reason. And also she said that she needed an alliance with a strong person, a strong housing, because that was the earlier stages of the game. Everybody was trying to weigh their options. Everybody was trying to secure their spot in the house. So um, it wasn't like she was with Jeff because she really liked him because she was looking for an alliance. And then um, she said she wanted to get him she wanted to get to know him also that was why she went into the hrh room with him and for her it was fun because it had been a while that some guy would walk up to her and say oh i like you this i like you that you know so for the fact that jeff was actually coming to give her readings and blues like that right that she actually enjoyed it she felt like it was fun 
And then, Ibuka asked her if she was distracted when Omashala made his feelings known to her, if that was the reason why she did not reciprocate Jeff's feelings. And then she said no, that just like Venita, Omashala did not make his feelings known to her directly. Omashala was going ahead telling people in the house that, oh, that girl came. I like that girl. I like this girl. But Omashala never for once came to her directly to say, hey, I like you. Guys, this is the point where I'm asking myself that come. All these housemates, I tell you, all of them, they have a problem. Like, why would you like a girl and then you cannot man up and walk up to the girl and tell the girl that you like the girl? Instead, you tell the whole community people that see that girl, I like that girl. So, is it the community people that will help you say yes or the actual person that you like that will actually say yes? Like, what the heck? You know, Vanessa complained the same thing about Omashola and now Kimopra is complaining about the same thing. I mean, Omashola, come on. If you like somebody, walk up to them, tell them you like them so that they would know about your feelings and your intentions, you know. Keeping it all up to yourself, I don't see how it solves any situation, you know. So, Ebuka asked Omashola, you know, what happened, his own version of the story. And he said that the truth is he did not pursue his interest with Kimopra because she was with Jeff. And he also noticed that by the time Jeff was no longer HOH in the house, Kimopra immediately left Jeff. And guys, that is a fact. Kimopra was one person in the house that all the housemates, they could confirm that the girl was very, very manipulative. And she too, she know how it she said it on the show tonight that listen that what she's looking for is a strong alliance you know that everybody was trying to secure their spot in the house so it wasn't a situation of oh you came here to come and like somebody no that for her she was looking for somebody that had a strong position so it's not something like she can go and tell jeff now that oh because you are no longer hoh i will not like you anymore no that everybody had a strategy and guys i understand her point you know i understand her point but then everybody has their own story right so guys, Kim has said that she actually needed a strong alliance and that was why she left Jeff when Jeff was no longer HOH and she said that it wasn't because of the coins that he had. Remember guys, there was a time in the house that Jeff was like the richest man in the house because he had more coins and that was before he was evicted. So guys, what do you think about tonight's episode of the Big Brother and Jeff Pepper and Gang reunion show? I want to question guys, do you think, what do you guys think this reunion show is going to end? Because me, I don't know. I don't know, I mean, BB and Jess is in 5 is starting on the 19th and then we are still watching reunion show. Anyways guys, I'm going to see you in tomorrow morning's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do have an amazing night's rest. Bye.